Hi, welcome back to the Mom and Taters. Uh, we've got a really interesting question today. When is it okay for your kids to see you naked? Is there a particular age? Is there a particular time? How do you guys feel about the subject? Well, I guess I'm, <laughs> I got something to say about it. Um, actually, I think that when a child is between, you know, a, a, of course a newborn, to around the toddler age, it's okay because some moms actually breastfeed their children until they're about two and a half years old. Um, I, you know, I did. And that's when a child is still very co codependent on their mother's physical body. So that skin to skin is organic, it's natural, and the woman's body was designed for that. I think that once a child begins to understand the function of a part or has an outside context of what that part is used for, then it can become inappropriate. Um, you know, when they think that's the same like say that you're, you're talking about the mother and child, do you think it's the same for the father and child? Well, in that it's my, okay for the child to see the father naked as in, well? Well in my home, because I can only speak from my base, in my home, uh, me and my husband both agree that under no circumstances is it ever appropriate for the child to see uh, the male's lower region. We believe that, you know, being intimate and having affection is normal and that's the way things should be, but that that male part uh, should never be exposed. It may be a bit of a double standard because... Um, well, you have a daughter. Have Would a it be different if you had a son? And we do agree that as, if it's same sex and to a certain age, it's okay because you can teach that child about that body part and it's healthy. But if you're like, you know, say eight or nine, and your father's walking around na naked, I feel like that's completely inappropriate. And I think that for a little girl that's maybe, you know, two or three, ooh, mommy, poopy part, you know, it all depends on the context. Yeah. But I do think that there has to be ramifications or it gets really weird. But in my house, we don't tolerate the man's lower region being, being exposed. Okay, I, I, I actually am dealing with, um, I have a daughter who's eight and a son who's five. My daughter is on the older size, side of eight, meaning she's a very mature eight-year-old. Some people think she's 10. She's definitely at that cusp of, she's going to go through pre, you know, puberty soon. And um, for several years, maybe since she's about maybe five, six years old, we decided she could not um, she cannot shower or bathe with my husband um, unless <laughs> He wears underwear because I didn't want to take away those special times of the kids like to get in the shower with my husband and it's a fun time for them just to like all be together and um, they like the water play and they're kids, you know, but I just felt that um, she didn't need to have an image of her father's um, penis. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. I'm going to say that's fair. okay, because I want to say something. Don't be I afraid. never, and I'm really actually happy about this, I never or have, I have no memory of seeing my father's penis. And you know what? It's great because I never <laughs> think of my dad as a sexual being. I just think of him as my dad. Right. And I can that's forever healthy. and always <laughs> hug and cuddle my dad. And I don't think of it that way because I don't even, I don't think of him as, you know, and I understand he is a man and that, but it, it, it just and doesn't register. It should, doesn't register. You shouldn't ever think, well, I don't think that you should ever think of your father in a sexual life. Right. So that's all that's healthy. It, see, but but, when but is we're it all, but we're all sexual beings right. and we have to somehow, you know, I think there's some kind of balance that we have to strike between having some modesty and boundaries that are appropriate, and that's part of what we have to teach. But I, for me personally, I want my children to feel very comfortable with their bodies. So it's okay not for your husband. Oh, my kids, my son will be around me. Or, I'm, or yeah. see us feeling shame. Like it just, I, I think there's a there's a there's a fine line between like boundaries and privacy and you know uh, sort of negativity and shame. No, about no, it. no. I think you know? well, covering your child from being exposed. Um, to indecency is different than conditioning a child to have shame about their body. Well, that, and then the question becomes like, is nudity in and of itself indecency? Well, right. it all depends on the circumstance. If you have an eight-year-old daughter at home and the dad's walking around naked, that's um, balance. To us, you know, oh, like yeah. I, I, have, yeah, I was at a beach. I was, yeah, colonies, you know, I was at a nude beach in Fire Island. This is weird to me for a grown man to and be walking around naked in front of a little girl. But I think it's okay, okay, but it's not weird to everybody. You know? Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's not viewed as only a sexual thing. It's yeah. just, this is my body. This is a penis. This is a vagina. This is what, you know what I mean? It's almost yeah. medical and there's no shame in his body. Like he doesn't have any shame at all in, in body. Plus he doesn't automatically associate 
body with sexuality. And that's what it, that's what it means well, when right, I said yeah. you, it goes back to the context. Like uh, any child that's ever been breastfed, to take it back to the breast again, which is natural. They're designed to nurture our children and not what the world has turned into, you know, some uber object. Um, when a child who's breastfed, it's normal for them at the age of three to sometimes when they're sleeping or want to go to sleep to stick their hand down their mom's mm -hmm. shirt. Mm -hmm. But it's unnatural to me to see a little girl stick her hand down her dad's pants. Right. Let's be real about That's it. Not analogous at all. Well, I'm giving it. <laughs> you know, since we're going to be all stretched out and show the whole, you know, well, you know, well, this okay, way, that way. Touching is completely yeah. different from seeing naked. I mean, that that exactly. obviously crosses a boundary. Well, I'm speaking in context of how we relate to the body. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what I meant when I said it's normal for a young a young child that's been breastfed to maybe touch a breast as opposed to a child touching their father. Right, but I mean that's like them grabbing a bottle or grabbing, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like that's their food a, That's their food Well to source. me that's just, but grabbing, like touching your dad down there is just, I is don't, weird yeah, to me. Not, no, I, I don't know that we're touching. talking about touching. But no, no but touching. this is what I want to say. Touching your dad down there to me, even though it's very unrealistic, it's just as, it's just as weird to walk around your daughter or child naked. When they're no, of I, age, I, I, I understand. No, See, but I, here's but the I thing. Mean, um, we don't, we but, don't. but everyone has a different opinion. You know? and we, yeah, I mean, we're entitled yeah. to that. Um, uh, we didn't ever talk about it. We didn't ever say, oh, here's when we're not. But he's two and a half now. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I'm like, mm, I'm going to shut the door when I get dressed. Yes. You know what I mean? It's just kind of a natural thing. Uh, he, he's still, like, I stopped breastfeeding at eight months for whatever reason. I started working, milk dried up. Um, and he, um, he'll still come and he'll still want to rest his head there and occasionally he'll stick his hand on my shirt and I just don't make a big deal about it yeah, because yeah. it's not a big deal. He wants no. comfort That's and everything like that. He still showers with his dad. They have that time together well, and think, they play monster trucks in the shower no. and you know I what I mean? father it's, and son can be showering together till they're like seven years old, six <laughs> years old. I think, same sex I think that's is, fine okay. because I think that they're together at same right. sex. I will shower with my daughter forever and for always. I don't care like until she's <laughs> uncomfortable. Honestly, the I don't care. The wedding. Yeah, the wedding. Let's do a shower together. <laughs> that, that's a different kind of wedding shower. <laughs> no, but I, my daughter, I'm very comfortable with her walking right. in and I'm getting dressed. But my son, he wa he'll walk in and he'll notice like, why did you, why is it a different shape, your hair down there, than it was yesterday? And I'm like, oh my God, oh. he's noticing that. It is time to that's, shut the door. Yeah, when they, they that's why I said when they have yeah. enough common <laughs> sense to know that there's a function or that there's a difference or yeah. they have a context add to it, that's when it's time to yeah. shut it down. And my children. Well, and I, I think it's important to explain something to them right. too at that time. Yes. You know, I, and, and not I, just sort of, because I think if they just, if something just changes abruptly and they're shut out of it, I think it's very natural for ch children psychologically to think it's about them and that maybe they've well, done something wrong. Well, it's our job as parents to teach. We, we use teach everything as an opportunity to wrong. teach them. I wouldn't, you know, you always show them by doing, right. you know, in reality. You, you know, the bathing with, um, you know, girls and boys, I'm, I, I, I've actually stopped that just recently, but it was a slow progression. It wasn't an abrupt stop. Um, my, my, um, what I noticed was that my daughter, who is starting to, sh her body's starting to change a little bit, um, and she would pick her little tush up and put it in his face thinking it's funny, and then he would like poke her. And I'm like, this is getting inappropriate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because she, first of all, she's starting to change, and this is getting, and then she's like, look at your penis, look at, you know, this is, it's not innocent play anymore. How old right. is she? She's eight and a half, but okay. she's, you know, might, and eight is old enough stuff happening. By the time yeah. a child is eight, they know what a yeah. She is. doesn't. We haven't talked. I don't know if she actually knows she what say. happens no. in sex, huh? but <laughs> I just say notice that you don't want to say. Penis. You don't want to say penis. Oh, because my little girl's still three, so I'm still trying to figure out how to communicate well, too. We so. call it a billy and a giggy. I'll just put oh, that you know out. What? We call it. <laughs> We call it a penis and a vagina yeah. and we talk yeah. about it yeah. because we're potty yeah. training and we're doing all of that yeah. kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. for well, me, I'm like, okay, this is where, for me oh, it's so hard. Is not, is I, I long for the days when I can go to the bathroom by myself again. Mm -hmm. Like having a one-year-old and a three-year-old, there are no boundaries. Lock the door. Yeah. Lock, you know, but <laughs> that's what's right. You're also, the they're, when they're right. potty training, they oh, have yeah. to like learn what's normal. To, and it's just like, Oh my God, I'm Please sorry, I'm so alone. glad I'm done I with those days. I am, yeah. It's <laughs> difficult, but I feel like that's bathroom. also one of the things when you're talking about getting undressed and everything like that, these body parts, they shouldn't, especially at these young ages, it shouldn't be something to be ashamed of. It is something that they're curious about and, and they do little, have a function yeah. and everything like that. Yeah. But I, I need yeah, to like, you're a little bit to, older. and Isabel is starting to get a little more self-conscious and Absolutely. she said, I want to shower by myself. So she goes upstairs and he great. takes the and bath. I think that's great when you If they have enough sense to articulate they want to shower by themselves, they should be. It up and she's like, you know, he's plus she's so big that our bath isn't like, you know, mm -hmm. she's growing so much and he's, 
you know, they're in each other's way, and it, it needs to be separated now. And she likes to close her door when she gets undressed now. She doesn't want him walking in on her. And right. So she wants some of her own privacy. And I think yeah. that's her dictating kind of like. I think it's that's time. wonderful. Yeah. For you guys, yeah. it's more of a natural and progression. And that you For support us, that. natural. That's wonderful. Yeah. 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 So but great. I still like, I walk around topless in front of them. I don't think that the, because for me, top, like, I don't think of my breasts as um, very sexual. Like, I just yeah. think, like, that's mommy's boobs. I gave you milk with them. and I totally agree. It's just, that's fine. But lower regions for both the lower the region. Lower region. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I feel like, you you know, there's that that is the area that... Um, well, and it sounds like you knew when the time came. Yeah. Like, uh, that time hasn't come for my little boys you'll yet. You'll feel it. You'll, you'll but, uh, see. When it does, I just have to trust that I'll know, you that they'll know, know that they'll let me know. When they're walking in and you're like, I don't know. Yeah. I this is awkward. Yeah. This yeah. isn't right anymore. <laughs> yeah. It's not feeling well, I had, well, it did feel awkward, you know, bathroom-wise, and I had yeah. to sort of push past that and sort of be like, oh, okay, this is part of my role in potty training as a parent that yeah. I need to share this experience with isn't my child. That amazing? And, and that I need to have, like, a positive attitude about it right. as well, whereas all I want to do is just be like, get out. Get <laughs> out. Give me this time. But I like what you said, Liz, about how, and I, th I thought it was interesting because it's kind of like a double standard, but I guess it's okay um, because the child does come from our body. We carry them inside of us. We nurse them. And there is kind of this instinctual oneness that a child has with their mother. And I like what you said when you said you walk around with your breasts because you don't see them as in the context that the breasts are normally perceived, but rather, you know, it's something that's natural as opposed to a man walking around with, his masculinity, it's... I do think it's yeah. different. I do think it's masculinity. Well, I'm trying to see this. Penis. I think talking about like it. subtitles for this one is like when she says that masculinity, it means... Penis. Well, you know, I'm doing it, you guys, because my little girl, and, I, and I'm not raising her to have shame, but it's all about appropriateness it's for all, me. And it's right? all about and for, choices. Because like, I give her little nicknames for her little VJJ or her little, you know, her oh, yeah. little space or whatever. We give it other names. You know, um, so I, I think that it's refreshing and it's something to be said for the fact that there are different standards set for men than there are women oftentimes when it comes to sexuality, the body, and all these different things. Well, like, when do you uh, when do you stop bringing your son into the women's bathroom with you? I'm just right. dealing with that right now. My son, question. I let him now. Okay. He won't come in. He will not. He's almost six. And he sometimes won't go into the ladies' room. See, well, when he knows. It's, well, well, you know wait, when, wait, 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 you guys. Go ahead. Go ahead. We got to stop. Why? Huh? Could you believe it? We're out oh of time. Oh my God. Oh. So much more to say. <laughs> we have so much more to <laughs> say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. And I imagine that you have things to say too. So please leave comments. We're very interested to know what you think on this topic. Um, and please come back and watch the Mom and Taters again and subscribe so you can get all of our episodes. Thank you. Bye. Bye.